A once booming hemp industry in Wisconsin is seeing a significant decline in the number of farmers growing the crop. And now the state's hemp program is debating if the USDA should actually take it over. CBS FDA's Capital Correspondent Emily Fannin is live in Madison with a look at what this change could mean. Emily. Yeah, those who work in the hemp industry tell me if the state program shifted over to the USDA, they say it actually wouldn't be a bad deal for farmers. We're going through some growing pains uh, that that's bound to happen. In 2018, it was an exciting time for farmers who could finally plant their first hemp seeds in Wisconsin. CBD, which is made from hemp, quickly became popular. But now experts in the industry say demand and interest is not what it used to be. I think from a CBD perspective, there was a saturation of the market. There still is. I know some farmers that are still sitting on their plants from a year or two ago. Uh, they can't find buyers. This resulted in fewer people applying for a hemp license, which is a major loss in revenue for Wisconsin's hemp program. State officials say the program will now end the fiscal year in a negative balance, nearly a half a million dollars. This is part of the reason why officials are considering having the federal government step in. Is there are several benefits in the federal program that could potentially benefit growers. While the federal hemp program operates slightly different, officials say it would actually save growers time and money. The amount of time um, they would have to do to do registration. So a federal license is three years, whereas a state license is every year. You're paying sampling fees to get your crop tested. Under the USDA plan, there are no fees right now. DACAP says they don't have a timeline in mind and when they'll make a decision. But in the meantime, they all they are talking to stakeholders to see if there's interest in moving to the USDA regulating the hemp program in Madison. Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.